all these cars are going to generate lots of data. So what do you think are the key challenges in ensuring that all this data that's generated by these cars is protected and also shared in a secure way? I think the ultimate challenge really is getting the user's permission and that should be the, the ultimate default uh, if you want to use this particular data. Uh, we're particularly suspicious of, of, of how data is being used here in Europe and so it's, it's very important that we get that permission first of all. Um, and once you get that permission there's a number of questions I think that need to be answered. Uh, the first of all is you know, what type of data is being gathered, um, who is actually going to use that data and, and for what particular purpose and ultimately you need to look at uh, you know how that data has been stored uh, and that it's secured. Is giving third parties direct access to that data in vehicle the right approach? I, I, again it, it, it comes back to my my questions I, you know the, the base level question of uh, who is actually going to access that whether it's on board or off board uh, and it's important to uh, make the user aware of how that is um, who's using it and, and, and how it's been actually used. So what needs to be done? I mean, you've said that permission is the most important thing, but is there any other element that you would see as key to guaranteeing security? Yes. Uh, well, w once you have permission, you then need to look at the whole ecosystem, the whole automotive ecosystem, and the different sources of where data will be gathered. And that can be devices that are on board, applications, the mobile networks, uh, and the automotive companies themselves who may be selling the service. Uh, you have to look at that as a whole ecosystem and secure every element of that.